Apparently, I've been living under a rock, and I'm very disappointed in myself for this. Did you know there is an entire timeline for the next couple of years from now until 2027 of Avatar movies and when to expect them to be released? The only way I found this out was because originally this video was supposed to be focused around Aang, the last airbender, which is the upcoming, I think it's supposed to be released October of 2025, but it focuses on the entire group of characters, Aang, Katara, Toph, Sokka, and Zuko, of course, my favorite focuses on them as young adults continuing the story where previous shows and the storyline left off. All of a sudden, there has been a shift from like Disney, Disney remakes, all that stuff that freaking sucked. And now we're like taking a new course and remembering our childhood in a, you know, in a different category of video games now becoming movies, uh, FNAF, Bendy and the Ink Machine, uh, Sonic, what else? Mario, just to name a few, if that's not all. <laughs> and now we're going into the beloved shows that we loved growing up. But now it's even more exciting, specifically looking at Avatar, because for me, I was around the same age as the kids in Avatar, maybe a little older, but I still had a freaking crush on Zuko, okay? And I wanna make Zuko a whole different part of this video because I don't think he's getting the freaking recognition he deserves, the voice actor, because a lot of the news articles I'm looking at, the headlines are like of Dave Bautista, who's playing the, who's voicing the, the main antagonist in this upcoming movie, and uh, Eric Nam voicing Aang, and then there's, it's always and and also. The disrespect! I swear to goodness gracious. The disrespect. Like, Dante should be the focus here. And the other newer actors should be the oh and. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you overlook such an icon? Like, let me remind you of who the who this guy is. Who Dante Bosco is. Rufio. Rufio. <laughs> Looky, looky, I got hooky. American Dragon. Dragon up. What? Now with that out of the way, we can move on. <laughs> I just wanted to go a little more into what is projected for Avatar The Last Airbender few years like what are we going to be expecting and I love that they lay it out for us and we can visually see in the next couple of years what their plan is now if we're looking at the timeline we can see that the start of this huge project in the works it starts with two live actions on Netflix so in 2023 Avatar The Last Airbender Book One Water live action was put out there. I've heard mixed reviews about it. I haven't seen it personally, but I, I've heard mixed reviews and not a lot of people liked it. <laughs> if we're moving down the timeline, another Netflix series will or film will be put out, which is Book Two Earth. I hope that is going to be better and get better reviews than the first one. It's interesting that they decide to start this whole thing on Netflix. Like, I wonder why 
they chose that because if we look further down the line, it doesn't continue with that pattern of being released on Netflix. So I wonder if they already had book two in the works with Netflix and they wanted to see what the reaction would be. And if it wasn't great, they were just going to ditch Netflix and go on their own and decide, hey, we're going to do it right. We're going to do it our way and not have to work with Netflix. I don't know if they had limitations or whatever. Avatar is going to work, you know, within their company and they'll they'll do their thing. Maybe, maybe not. That's just my speculation. But the two books started off this whole thing. So book two is going to be released the summer of 2025. Okay. That, I don't know. I'll watch it, sure. But the the one that everyone is freaking talking about because they just started dropping the voice actors for this film with Dave Bautista, Eric Nam, the new as the newer voices. That's why everyone's talking about it. The animated film will be part of a trilogy, which is very exciting. But this one, showing the adult team avatar, that will be released October 10, 2025. Now, I'm going to be in a seat at the theater watching that and being part of freaking history. <laughs> it's not that dramatic, but, you know, I'm very excited. And then in winter of 2025, they're just like back to back to back. Avatar is getting its its stage. And then Zuko. Now you heard how I talked about him earlier in this video. How 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 am I not going to love this? I don't know. But we're going to get a whole freaking animated film on Zuko and you bet your ass I'm going to be watching that. Yeah. Anything Zuko? I'm in. <laughs> so that'll be released October 9, 2026. So we'll have a little break after 2025, the end of 2025. But just like FNAF went hard this past year, like we had a, a book, a movie, a, a movie. No. <laughs> we had like a book, a movie, a game, a game of FNAF like back to back to back, we're going to have Avatar Last Airbender. Summer 2025, Avatar Book 2, Earth on Netflix. October 10th, 2025, Adult Team Avatar, which I'm the title is Aang, The Last Airbender. Winter 2025, New Earth Avatar, anime series. And then we'll have a break, and then it will be Another year, October 9th for 2026, Zuko animated film. So that's kind of cool. But then again, we're going to get a spinoff, an animated series. I don't know. Is this to indicate that, that they don't know what it's about? Spinoff. I wonder if it, when... That drops. I wonder what they're going. I wonder what they're going to do there. But in summer 2027, we're going to have book three on Netflix. So it looks like the books are going to be released on Netflix. Everything else is going to be separate. So I wonder what their deal was with Netflix. I wonder if they're going to focus on another character when it comes to the animated film in 2027, like they did here with Zuko. Maybe it will be about Toph. I don't know. Now, if we're just focusing on the adult animated film with the whole gang grown up. Oh, I swear to goodness. <laughs> I swear to goodness. Oh, they look great. Aang, 24. Katar, 26. Toph, 24. Zuko and Sokka. Adult team Avatar movie is set 12 years after the end of Atla. Oh, Avatar The Last Airbender. I didn't know that was the abbreviation. So if you want more updates 
on the Avatar movie where they're all adults now. Um, I was trying to get more information on Avatar news, but it looks like a lot of their updates halted in 2023. I don't know if I'm looking in the wrong section, but it seems like they don't have more recent um, info about Avatar, which kind of um, aligns with how they work. Like, it's they're trying to keep a lot of details unreleased right now, and we'll probably start releasing more details as the year continues and enters 2025 the year that the movie is supposed to be released which makes sense right they want the hype to like build steadily in the next year and not start too early Aang the Last Airbender the first animated movie in Avatar trilogy will follow Aang as an adult plot details remain hidden somewhere in the Fire Nation but Lauren Montgomery, who worked as storyboard artist on Avatar The Last Airbender and sequel series The Legend of Korra, will direct the animated feature. Yeah, they're, they're trying to hide the details, which is understandable. They're slowly releasing voice actors. So that's basically all we know besides the voice actors. And I do want to talk a little more about that. The whole group that we have to voice the characters as young adults, I think, is pretty good. Like, I know I was saying before, like, all the articles are focusing on the wrong voice actor, but all together, it's a solid group. And it seems like they wanted to bring back, like, that old nostalgic feeling of having Zuko's voice stay the same as in the originals but they also wanted to add something different that I'm pretty sure they think will add to the characters as they have grown older so we know Dave Bautista is going to be the main antagonist Eric Nam's going to be voicing Aang and Dante Bosco is going to be voicing Zuko what we also have is Toph and Katara's voice, voiced by two voice actors I am not familiar with. We have for Toph, Dion Kwan. Dion, Dion Kwan. She's a blind voice actress. And then we have Katara's voice being by Jessica Matten. And she's a Canadian indigenous actress and film producer. So very cool. I think they'll be great in this movie. I'm very excited. And yeah, that's really all I want to talk about. Let me know if you love Avatar Last Airbender as much as I do. And if you have any favorite projects you're looking forward to watching in theaters or on Netflix. Yeah, just let me know your thoughts. But thanks for watching.